Today we had a tremendous STEM day. I was very impressed with uh, what the boys have done. The boys have been um, pressurizing me to have an event where they compete because they've been, they have been wanting to do a project. Today we are, we are able to understand people's innovations and inventions in all these areas where in science we had the three subjects, biology, chemistry and physics. Technology, we had innovations in robotics. Engineering, same as robotics and programming. And mathematics, where students were encouraged to come up with new formulas or solving equations, all the way from CBC to Form 3. Today, we are celebrating not only the inventions of students, but also those that were made before. We are able to understand inventions created in areas of medicine, areas of engineering and robotics, making robots that can build cars, others can perform surgery on human beings and animals. The Mutual Annual School STEM Day enabled us to acquire knowledge skills on scientific practicals. We also had a few projects which we presented. There was another one for uh, automatic irrigation by one of our students. It was such a tremendous project. It, uh, it is used very well to be able to assist in food security in terms of food production. Then there was the last one on aviation where they are using drones. We know in countries like Rwanda during the COVID-19, they were dropping drugs or medicine to people via drones. So we had those three major areas of great innovation by our students at Malaysia School. It, I came here today and what I saw uh, in relation to projects, I was really impressed. A number of them impressed uh, uh, me, especially the one to do with biodiesel, uh, considering what the country is uh, going through right now. Because most of this uh, uh, problem that in the society is what we normally try to address, address through this innovation. I was looking at that project on biodiesel, where students from uh, using local material that is I, what I acid, which is considered a menace in our country, especially in Lake Victoria. A student make use of it by coming up with a fuel, considering and considering uh, what we experience right now in terms of fuel, where the price has gone up, this will be a better alternative for most of us. We have a STEM lab here where we practice uh, robotics and all other uh, uh, projects that uh, students who want to come up with ideas, we, we nurture them until uh, they mature and even get other supporters and uh, innovators to support them. There is also a project to do with, uh, with a, a smart farm where a student came up with a way of ensuring uh, everything is done autom uh, automated. Robotics uh, is an event that we have been doing. We participated in the nationals uh, this year that were held in uh, Moy Girls, Nairobi. And then we, for the junior category, we had position one that are proceeding to Panama for an international event in November 5th to 9th. Then we, shall, we also had a position three, which went to South Africa for the African competitions. And they became position one in South Africa, uh, having beaten all the African countries. I was also looking at a mathematics category where we had a student coming, uh, coming up with a formula. He was referring to it as the uh, Joker formula. Uh, through that formula, uh, a student can easily work uh, a sum in relation to quadratic equation because I know that has been a big challenge to most of the students when they are trying to look at the two terms, that, uh, the two factors that we may use in order to solve a quadratic uh, equation. I was able to come up with a way of ordering and assembling 
all the parts of the human skeletal system where in all the 206 bones I was able to identify, name and describe the function of each bone in the body. Other projects were made such as uh, detoxification in the body using small organisms such as potatoes, potato plants. Others were made in making detergents in chemistry. Uh, another area was uh, making of soaps, others were fabric softeners. Basically today we are just coming up with inventions that literally have never been heard of and all being made in the laboratory, not at a large scale. Some were actually sold in a way. Very impressed uh, being told that it was the first uh, uh, event to be, uh, to be hosted because uh, uh, what I saw in relation to uh, planning and organization was perfect. Measure is not only me being a, a technical engineer because we have a STEM club, which means science, technology, engineering, and math. I develop and, acqu and acquire skills which help me in building my imagination for becoming a technical engineer. I like to assure every parent that a child uh, given a chance at Merisho will leave this school with a creative mind and an innovative mind. So I welcome you to Merisho, the home of the boy child.